Back in the day when everybody used to move a little bit faster, everything was in black and white. We used an old pressure washing system that's about to be retired. Bought this from Home Depot maybe five years ago and it served us well, but it's a pain in the butt. Go to put gas in here. You gotta run that hose over there somewhere. You gotta untangle this hose every time. You gotta pull this half a dozen times. Kind of complain, but it's actually been really good. It's just now there is better systems out there, and you might have seen past videos we've been talking about getting the system from Mad at Obsessed Garage. So it's been sitting in a pile over here for maybe two months just because we've been busy and we can't be working on our pressure washing system when we have customers cars to do. So we've caught up with a few jobs, we've been slowly building up time, getting the job done a couple of hours faster and kind of building up some time so now we have a few hours so we can assemble the pressure washing system. So we're going to say goodbye to the Honda, I don't know what we're going to do with it yet, I don't want to get rid of it because I know I'm going to use it. I don't want to take it home because I don't have room for it. I have a tiny little house, I have a tiny little shed, and it's full to busting, so I don't want to take it home. So, I know I don't want to do a giveaway, but thanks for asking. Alright, so if you haven't seen Matt on Obsessed Garage, this is his channel right here. And he puts videos up very frequently. I mean, he's putting one a day, sometimes two a day. A lot of detailed stuff. So... I mean, like right down here, he has a video just comparing swivel pressure washer fittings. You know, that one on the left looks like the one that we have from him. But again, he's doing his research. He's playing with all this stuff and r and d it himself. So, he spends a lot of time doing this. I mean, his name is Obsessed Garage by, for one reason, right? So, let's go through, we'll take a look at his pressure wash system and see how he lays it out and then we'll lay it out on the floor and get some measurements look how many videos he's got so that's pretty much the orientation the pump sits that way the hose the hose reel is going to sit right under it so I'm going to measure that footprint and get some plywood and we're looking at the shelf it supplies a shelf for the pump to go onto this one of the legs of the shelf. This is the actual shelf. It's a nice looking piece. Um, what I'm looking at is it doesn't have any way to bolt it together. These are the end pieces that screw to the wall. And this is the outer part. It looks really nice made stuff, but how does that attach to the shelf? Does the shelf just sit on there? And then I'm afraid of vibration. So Again, we're not, we're not reading any instructions. It doesn't have any instructions in here. So I think what we're going to do is weld the shelf together. Let me do this one-handed. It's going to sit here. I think what we'll do is we'll put that in there. We'll just put a couple of small welds. What do you think? Your way. All right, so no need for nuts and bolts now. That shelf. We don't have to worry about the pressure washer falling off the wall. I know he includes a couple of uh, stainless little ties. The rubber inserted stainless wraps to put the pump on here, which we've got to drill holes and put those in there. But now we can bolt that to the wood and not worry about it pulling off. So that's a nice little shelf. All right, so looking at his videos, this is how he lays it out. Obviously the pump will lay, you know, looking at it this way. I wanna try and keep this upright because it's oil filled. This is the feed from the pump to the reel. And it has a universal, like a, a swivel joint here. Well, what we're thinking to do, rather than this coming way out and sticking out to make it a bit more prof uh, lower profile, I think we're going to get a 90 and put a 90 
on here just so it doesn't stick out it'll save us a little bit of room so it doesn't stick out as much okay so we decided to use one inch plywood so we can mount the parts to the board and then put the board on the wall that way we can spread the load around and obviously pick up a few more of the studs the pump we weighed it weighs 45 pounds and the reel we didn't get to weigh the reel with the hose and the water because obviously the the hose is a hundred foot hose which is pretty long and once that's full of water it's going to get heavy too but i'm guessing that reel with the hose and the water is about 40 pounds so if you've only got in a short area that to pull the weight from there's a good chance you could pull it off the wall so hence the one inch ply and it's bolted on there with stainless bolts and then the board will screw to the wall so this thing is actually quite heavy i'm guessing it weighs 30 pounds i don't know nothing much you may find out you want to put it on our scale? Let's go check. Alright, let's get a number. You ready? Wow, well, I was off. I'm trying to stop the. 45 pounds. 45? Yeah. So, this is the shelf that's provided in the kit. And it's a nice shelf, it's a stainless shelf, it's pretty sturdy. We welded the ends. It sits on those ends, but we wanted to weld it just to make sure. And because that little pressure washer weighs so much, that thing weighs 45 pounds. Plus you gotta think of when it's running, the vibration and the shaking and everything else. If we was to put wood screws in here, there's a chance it could pull out the wall, pull out the drywall. You wake up the next day and your pressure washer's on the ground or it's dangling by the hose. So we're using stainless bolts Hence why we're bolting it to a board and then the board is getting screwed to the wall. That way we can distribute the weight around. We're all about overkill. We don't want anything falling off. How heavy would you say that is? 40 pounds? It's pretty close. 45 pounds. It's <laughs> pretty good. Nice. You should do a pack and a chip in. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you ready? So I figured it'd be easy because then if we ever need to tip this down, it'll make life a little bit easier. Yeah, they look like the same looks Did you guys make that shelf? No, he supplies the shelf. Oh, okay. I yeah. yeah, he supplies it and we just welded the ends on. So we've got our pump mounted and the hose on. We've got a quick release piece and our quick release gun. So we're going to wire that. That has about 15,000 feet of wire on there, which is probably good. Um, yeah, we should make a bracket for that. Why don't we hook it up here? If we don't leave the long thing on it? Yeah, we're not going to use that long thing. Just hook it up here. I like having it short. Did that end come on it, that white piece? They came on, that was on the end of the wand. Oh, okay. What? put it in there. Is that a 40 degree? Yeah. Oh, nice. That's the one that we use the most anyway. I'm yeah. sure they'll all fit. It's probably a universal deal. I think it is. But yeah, if we make a bracket so it holds that, 
and then the foam cannon. Maybe we can make a bracket to hold, hold the foam cannon, so we just grab whatever we need. Yeah. Maybe put the foam cannon here, 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 I don't know. We'll do something. All right, so rather than just getting a piece of garden hose and getting the length close, we decided to put a 90 on the pump here, the feed, and I just got a hose made. It's only, uh, I think the city water is what, 60 PSI? Something like that. Max 60 PSI. Well, this is overkill and the ends are crimped. Just in case, we don't want to have an issue, we don't want it leaking. So we'll go ahead and run this. Go ahead. It's pretty quiet, right? It's pretty. It's pretty quiet. Yeah. See how quick it kicks on when you hit it. It just takes whatever built-up pressure in there as soon as it drops, it starts back up. Yeah. Nice. Detail the back door. That's great. We're back here, right? We are right now. We'll have to get Sean to do a color correction after you've washed it. So Adams gave us this sign. We use a lot of Adams products. And they sent us this sign. It's like a light up sign. It hangs and it's powered. So kind of a perfect place. I'm going to put it up there. You see. Once this comes off, it'll look pretty nice. It's like a nice little car wash station. So, we'll go ahead and put that up. That's a good place. Maybe over to the right a little bit. A bit more. Yeah, about there. That was good right there. All right, so, our reel is working. We have a little hook right here we just made for our handle to go. And then we have a little piece down here for our Adam's phone cannon. It's nice and easy. It fits in there. It's easy to get to. Pretty much everything we need is all in one spot now. Okay, we're all set. Our Adam's sign is up and look how cool that looks. It lights up. Yes. So the reel is on. We've got our little holder for the Adam's phone cannon and the little bracket for the washer. So now it is time to test it out. We're going to wash our little hatch. All right, so first wash. Got our fresh wash system. Look at that. No noise, no pulling the ripcord. We just wash. Let's check it out. So again, this is the fresh wash system from Obsessed Garage. Check him out, obsessedgarage.com. Also check him out on YouTube. He's got a ton of videos showing you how to use this. This is a heavy duty gun. I mean, it's nice. It swivels, it's actually dual swivel, quick disconnect. And uh, put the foam counter right on it. Are right, you ready? You wanna see this guy? It. that's as loud as it gets I'm standing about five feet away and you hear it shut off when he's done spraying all right another test
ideally what you need is a little chair, George. Yeah. Sit on it, a little scrubby brush. As long as the brush never touches the ground, right? Yeah, everybody knows what we're talking about. And the whole time the Honda motor isn't running in the background. It sounds like it's got a cam in it. That's crazy, it's like quiet out here. It's just the sound of the breeze and the spray. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully it gives you an idea of what is involved in buying Matt's system. Very cool. I like it. We don't have to worry about gas. We don't have to worry about the Honda generator sitting next to us making a racket. We just wash cars, wash wheels, wash little bits and pieces, whatever we're doing. Makes life so much easier. Uh, big thanks to Matt. Thanks for the system. We, did, we didn't get it for free, but I'm thanking him because he helped put it together for us. And also thanks to Adams for the detailed supplies. We use their stuff pretty much exclusively because we like it. It's really easy to use. So thanks for watching. If you like what you see, subscribe, click the bell, click the thumbs up, all that good stuff. And have a great day.